Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be filming a video about some productivity tips that you can use when you're working from home. Since starting my 9 to 5 about two months ago now, I tend to work from home maybe once or twice a week and I've learned to develop a really wide list of techniques that I can use to make the most out of my day and so I thought it would be a good idea to sit down and share these with you. Before we begin, I just want to remind you to make sure that you're subscribed down below and that the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and without any further ado let's get started my first piece of advice is one that i never even thought about the benefits of when i started working from home and that is to adapt your morning routine now the best way that i can explain this is that when i travel to the office it usually takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to commute there and then to come back and so in the morning i spend that time doing other things that i know will really benefit me when i'm working from home so sometimes that's just sleeping and getting an extra hour of sleep because sometimes i'm just tired but other times I feel really good when I get up and have a bit of a tidy around the house sometimes that's tidying away from dinner the night before or putting on a load of washing because I can manage to that when I'm at home all day and then sometimes I also just choose to read a book or watch some YouTube scroll on my phone anything to relax me and calm me before starting my work day and I find that by really making the most of this hour that I have extra it sets me up for such a good day and I feel like I've been productive before I've even started work and it really does make the world of difference the next tip is one that I think people will be a little bit upset about, I'm not going to lie, because it is so tempting to wear your pyjamas when you're working from home. And I have been known to do that once or twice, I will be honest, but most of the time I try to get up and get dressed into something that I wouldn't usually sleep in. So it doesn't have to be a blouse and trousers or a nice suit or a dress. Sometimes it is just a little something like this jumper that I've got on top and some jeans or even some jogging bottoms if I am feeling extra lazy. I find that it really maximises my productivity when I am actually up and dressed and ready for the day compared to sitting here in my pyjamas. It just makes me so much more lazy when I am dressed in my PJs. Another thing which I didn't think of when I started working from home is the proximity that I sit to the kitchen. Now, I am a massive foodie. If you watch my channel, you'll know that. And I spend most of my day thinking about my next meal or my next snack. And so when I'm working from home, it is so tempting to just mindlessly walk into the kitchen and open the fridge. Even when I'm not hungry, I feel like it's very tempting to constantly just snack all day long in between my meals. And so one thing that prevents me from doing that is actually waking up and starting in my day with breakfast which is kind of weird for me because when I go to the office I don't actually have breakfast beforehand but when I'm at home I find having a nice bowl of cereal or even just a banana and a cereal bar if I'm not that hungry anything that I can sit down and eat which will fill me up a little bit and prevent me from walking into the kitchen gives me a really good start to my day I didn't really notice but as I'm looking at my list I'm kind of giving you these tips in order of waking up and finishing the day but my next tip is to create an effective setup so again it's very very tempting to work from bed and be in your pyjamas when you are working from home but I do try to mimic the office environment as much as possible so I will usually sit here at our dining table which we keep in the living room and I'll make sure that I have everything here that I need so it will be my laptop my notepad some snacks a drink so that I don't have to get up constantly to go and get things and doing that really helps me to distinguish between work time and home time I don't just shut my computer at five o'clock and feel like I'm in the same place whereas when I work from my bed it really does blur the line between work and relaxing and I don't like it as much and it took me a little while to figure that out because as I said it's so tempting to work from your bed and be comfortable but I definitely think it's much better productivity wise to work from a desk if you can as I said I work from the living room table because I don't have a desk currently but anyway in which you can mimic the office environment I would highly recommend that you do. My next piece of advice is kind of an obvious one and probably one that most people will do anyway but it's to plan out your day. Writing a little to-do list makes me so much more aware of what I need to get done and at what time and it stops me from forgetting the smaller tasks which I might not have acknowledged before and also prevents me from getting more distracted because I am very easy to distract. Also when I'm sitting here and I can tick something off the to-do list it makes me feel so much more motivated to get to the end of it and when you're working from home if you have reached the end of your to-do list and it's only half four you can probably just shut down the laptop screen and have a nice early finish so it's definitely something that allows you to power on through a little bit. Whilst we're on the subject of planning it leads me really nice nicely on to step number six that I always do when I'm working from home and that is to give myself a set amount of time to reply to and send out emails. I am the worst at sitting here and spending ages doing emails because it feels like I'm being productive when actually what I'm trying to do is procrastinate from the real work that I need to get done and I'm sure a lot of people can probably 
really relate to that. So what I'll do instead is set myself half an hour at the start of the day to go through and reply and respond to anything that I've been sent from the day before that I didn't quite catch. And once that half an hour is up, I move on with my day and I do something else. If that half an hour isn't enough when you can see that your inbox is filling up throughout the day, you can always set yourself another half an hour later in the middle of the day, even at the end if you need to, if you are someone that gets a lot of emails. Obviously, if something comes through that is really urgent and needs replying to instantly, then I do just quickly flick on there and do so. But I do find that most things for me aren't urgent and they can wait a little bit. So I tend to wait until I've finished my most important tasks until I reply to them. I think you can tell from all of the points I've made so far that I do get very easily distracted. And I will admit, when I'm working from home, I definitely get less distracted than I do when I'm in the office, which is kind of surprising given that you're surrounded by all of your home comforts. But I think when I'm in the office, I can chat, chat, chat all day long. Whereas when I work from home, I'm completely on my own all day long and I find that that actually works better for me to get work done. However, there are still some distractions. So tip number seven is to get rid of those distractions. Even if you think they're not gonna bother you that much, they probably will at some point. So just get rid of them completely. For example, if your phone distracts you, then put it in another room in the house or download the Forest app. I used to use Forest all the time when I was in uni and it's basically an app that you can set a timer on for as long as you like. And once that timer's up, a little tree grows or a bush, depending on how long you set the timer for, and you grow a forest, if you can't tell by the name of the app. But if you stop that timer before it's due, so if you go onto your phone and just come off the app or you click stop, the tree dies, which sounds quite traumatic and quite sad but it does actually motivate you to keep the tree alive because you can build your forest and you collect coins and then you can unlock more trees and I used to really enjoy using that actually I feel like I might download that again but I don't tend to get too distracted by my phone I will be honest. I feel like this next bit of advice isn't going to work for everybody but I thought I would share it anyway because it definitely works for me and that is to have someone that can hold you accountable for the work that you've done at home. So other than my boss wanting to know what I've done throughout the day, I also find it useful to speak to my colleagues and see what they're getting up to and I also know that at the end of every day myself and Charlie have an update with each other as to how work has gone and what we've been up to and so I know that if I speak to my colleagues and I speak to Charlie about what I'm doing, I'm definitely going to do more because I tend to feel a little bit guilty if I've not been as productive as other people have so that's definitely something that helps me power through but I think that does just depend on your personality so it might not work for everybody but I definitely recommend giving it a go if you think it will work for you I've only actually got two productivity tips left to share with you all I feel like I've gone through this video so quickly but I've just got straight to the point and I've not been very chatty as I usually am so I'm quite happy with myself for that keeping it short and concise and just telling you exactly what you need to know so I'm going to carry on doing that because I can sense a waffle spree coming on here Tip number nine is to reward yourself. So as I've already mentioned, when I'm in the office, I'm very chatty. And I think most people when they're in the office will have a little break to go and make themselves a cup of tea, chat with their co-workers. And when you're at home, you don't really do that as much. So make sure that when you are at home, you do exactly the same things. Go and have a little tea break or a coffee break, whatever your drink of choice is. Message your colleagues over WhatsApp or whatever you speak to them on. Maybe phone a friend or phone my grandma throughout the day just to have a quick five minute catch up because I would definitely do that if I was in the office and so it's important to kind of do the same things when you're at home because if you don't then just sitting here working solidly from nine till five get so mundane and really demotivating if you don't have those little mini breaks throughout the day and then to finish off we have my 10th piece of advice which is to make plans for the evening as I've already said I can really appreciate that it's hard to switch off from work when you're working from home I find that if I close my laptop at five o'clock and crack on with a completely different activity it really really helps me to switch off. So usually what I do is start preparing dinner and start cooking that ready for when Charlie gets home. And then after dinner, I also like to have a main focus for the evening. So that could be something simple like just watching TV with Charlie, filling out my bullet journal, reading, making YouTube videos, editing, anything that you enjoy doing, try and make the most of it. Because I think it's so easy to finish at five o'clock and feel like your evening's already over by the time you've got home. When actually it's not, because we do tend to stay awake a little bit later. For me, I tend to go to bed at around 10 or 11 o'clock so I actually have five hours to make the most of when I'm working from home and as I said that was actually my last piece of advice I can't believe how quickly I've reached the end of this video I feel like I've just filmed it like this and it's gone so fast I did actually really enjoy setting this up and filming this and thinking of all the ideas so if there's any more working from home content that you want to see or any office -y videos do comment them down below and let me know what you'd be interested in because I'd love to film more stuff like this but I don't have that many ideas myself so it'd be good to 
get some inspiration from other people if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe down below and other than that i suppose i will see you very soon in my next one bye